Yeah, um, welcome to this video. Last time I did a video on how to make space on your phone, and in this video, briefly, I'm going to show you guys how to use Facebook as a storage place for where you pack up your files. And it's just very simple. You go to your photos, or yeah, like using file manager. What you need to do is just highlight the pictures. the pictures you want to pack up I'm just going to highlight them at random Coming, we're coming. I'm gonna mark as many as I want to back up, and um, okay, just Alright, we are coming, we are coming, we are coming. I'm going to mark as many as possible. Alright, I think I have to pause here for now. Oh, what do you think? I really want to free my phone space. So, we we'll go to share. I don't know why my this thing did to my brush. Okay, I want it now. So, we will go to share. Click on that. Go to Facebook feed. Now, mind you, I'm not going to upload this thing on Facebook for everybody to see. I have already created a folder on Facebook. This is one I was uploading before. Before I make this video. I've already created a folder, an album. This is an album. Here is public. Note. This is one. And this is two. So I click on this album. There's an album I created. See this family picture. Family picture. 
back root and code is empty. That's because I'm still uploading some documents on it. I can create another album. For the sake of this video, I'm creating another album. Now what I want to click, I'm to click here. I'm going to change this public to only me. That means the privacy is only me. The only one seeing it. And I'll set the name as Kako. Backup photos and I'll create. The album is created. The album has been created successfully. So you see, now check number one and number two. The private, the public, the public sector now is only me. So I'm going to post these 76 plus items right here on Facebook. Now relax. I'll go and look for more. My younger sister can snap picture. And it just just snap just to fill somebody's storage. So I can't stop her from snapping. And also, see, just just take a look. I can't tell her stop using my phone to snap. But I need storage, and I work with my phone. Most of my graphics design, business art, photo, anything I'm editing is with my phone. So if I'm having low storage and my memory is filled up. How do I how do I access and navigate? So all these things I need to make storage. So in making that in order for me not to lose pictures and videos, I just have to devise a way of backing up my files. I have some documents. I will maybe along the line I can take this to let me think how to Bag these up also. I use I use them to work for people. Okay, image. Ah, come on. Click. Mm -hmm. Click. These are backgrounds I used to work. Hey, they come out. Even my picture is not as much as as. So you see, when you have people like this, they always want to snap, always want to snap, always want to snap. And you can't say, no, don't snap, you're fooling my storage. Me, I don't have any problem if somebody wants to snap a thousand pictures on my phone. I will just back them up and delete them from my phone, as simple as that. I don't carry or uh, complain for storage, because I, I have seen, seen, seen. seen. Some pictures are not necessary, but she does just do rubbish. So this last one is left now. So that's by the way. I'm gonna do things go to share Facebook feed. I wish for it to load. This is in public. Always take note of this because if you mistake the press nest, if you mistake the press nest and you appear, yeah, your pictures and your photos will go live. Even pictures you don't upload. So instead, you click on album. 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 When you click on album, you choose. You see 80 photos uploaded. Yeah, these ones are still uploading. So I'm going to click on backup again and I'll post. Photos are uploading. So that's by the way using Facebook. And you can also do that with video, but mind you, if you're packing up a video or putting a video on Facebook, you need to have data. So I advise you if you know you don't have data or you know you're suffering from uh, some data issues or challenge, you don't have to do it during the day. You just if you're in Nigeria, you can do a night bundle, 15 naira, 25 naira, can get you at least 500 to 1 gig. But if you don't, you can still DM me. I have data plans. I have I sell data, so I have plans for you. I can just help you up with the data subscription. But that's by the way. Now, when it comes to video, you can also do that. No click. And for the sake of this video, let me just spend this on the. You want to click here. You can still take it to Facebook. But me now, I prefer using YouTube. So I'm going to do the Facebook one. Let's just try it and you see. That you can do virtually everything backing up on Facebook. Facebook won't tell you that your storage is out of your cloud storage. This is that is out of this. 
So remember, I always go to album, change it to backup. But let me put it here this time around. Let me post it only if it has been posted. The same thing now. Let's try that same video. Let's see what YouTube got. Let's try uploading on YouTube. The same thing applicable to YouTube. YouTube, you can set. Yes, yes, yes. YouTube public visibility. So you click on it. Set it private. Only people you choose can view. You see, or you can choose to put it on on this tab. Anyone with the link can view. That means anyone that you give the link to this this thing can view. Or only people with the link. Only people you choose. People you want them to view. So those people give them the link. So virtually this number one and number two are just the same thing. Because anyone that has a link is going to view your private video. So that's how it is backing up with YouTube. Simple as that. YouTube don't tell you that your storage is. I have numerous, numerous videos I've posted here in my, my, my channel, in my musical channel. I have three channels currently that I'm running. My music channel and my digital services channel. So that's by the way. And you can post, post and back up. Also, let me bring you guys to the knowledge of um, Drive, Google Drive, Google Drive. That one, it has a limited storage too. Now, if you should see these places on my photos you see all these photos some of them let me just click on one of them let's see something revisit the moment you will see something these photos are taken 2019 november and they are not on my phone but i backed them up this is 2020 this is 2020 i backed all these things up on my google drive so how do i do it here is my account. Tap on this, that top right there image. You see the first account I'm using. I came to different accounts. I have, I have my this, and they just gave me 15 gig. So this one, when I, when I, when I'm, this other one, I just change it. This is one initial one I was using. Not now, because it's almost filled. I have to create species 13 gb out of 15 gb so that's why I changed it to another email to have a better storage so that's how it is and that's how we roll you can back up files and they will just be shown as a story here you just tap on it but if I need this, this photo now I don't have it on my phone currently it's in 2019 I will just click on this down here now here you see, I will click on this. I can decide to share it. Open the full album on how it happened. The photos I was taking during that period. These are the photos. They are very old photos. <laughs> if I should show this to my friends, they will be, they will be very surprised. You see, these are the photos. This is how it is. Very cool photos anyway. But you see the titles that they have there and the images. And when you tap, it will just take it in there. So I can say to share this. Share this photo or share the whole memory. This is the memory. Over here. The memory. So let me turn it off. Let me cancel it. So I can decide to do, and if I want the picture, something I just all I just do is just to share downloading. It has downloaded to my phone. I can just send it to anybody I want to send on WhatsApp or Facebook. I send the image. The image now is on my phone. I can delete it. Now I will just tap on this place, go to backup. Backup. I, I off the auto backing up. I can choose some specific folders, free of some space, it will take me to Google Plus One and I will see things to free up. So that's just it about this video on how you can make space on your phone, but to and how you can use the social media. When people are using it to watch trend to waste their data, we will use it to discover new trends, new things, and how we can use it to enhance our life.
so thank you for staying with me today on this video god bless you